issues and he said I mean he's apologized like multiple times since we got back and I do think he genuinely like cares yeah um, so what are you gonna do to make an effort what are you gonna do to try to push forward and to I mean get I think through this Hey guys, and welcome to Little Blair, but you know what time it is. Talking to you guys about Hayley um, and her <laughs> relationship with Jacob, but I want to also talk about her friend. Um, I'm sorry, I do for I forgot her name, but you know what? I I'm absolutely gonna have to apologize, and the reason why I'm gonna have to apologize because I on a particular live um, on Mad at First Sight fans live. If you guys join us every Thursday, I spoke quite candidly about um, the friend, and I said the friend is so against um, so against Haley. Why has she all up been there? A bit of a hater, da -da 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 -da, right? Um, because she was doing a lot. No, she was doing a lot. Okay, but um, in this particular episode, can I just say, out of all the friends, Haley's friend absolutely dropped so many bars and gems and we're going to go through some of the conversation that they had but i really want to encourage you guys to, to 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 take note and stock of what the friend was saying because marriages are saved by friends like her marriages are saved by women like her marriages are saved by people like this friend here who speak truth to who you are there are parts of you that is shambolic and abysmal and your friend needs to hold you to account and ask you some real questions to make sure that you're actually in this to win this marriage is not easy it's not a straight fast forward track and i'm not married i know but there know a lot of people who talk about this that it's a longevity process and so listen man it's 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 so uh, uh it's it's so important to to take some of the lessons that Haley's friend actually spoke about in this particular episode so shout out to you love we appreciate you and uh, continue being a good friend so guys let's break it down you know what i'm saying like if you're new to the channel make sure you like share subscribe click on the bell button for notifications are up lols and for anybody who's a returnee <laughs> you got the minerals you got 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 the minerals stay hydrated all right cool let's get into the video let's play a little bit more of the clip um, and just listen to what she said. Process to see how you truly feel and if this is something that could work, you know? I mean, I think we just have to. And the first thing I want to point out is that the very thing she actually spoke about was, what are you going to do to help this relationship? See how she put the onus of accountability on doing something for the marriage in Haley's hands. A bad friend, or I shouldn't say a bad friend, a friend who may not be uh, as, as invested in your marriage and it being successful might have said, hey, if it's not working, quit. Hey, if it's not working, bounce. But the very first thing that she, she inquired of was, hey, look, what are you going to do to make it work? What are you going to do to help the situation go in the right direction? What are you going to do to make sure the relationship is correct? What are you going to do to make sure the relationship relationship is right and so what was really important to see is that a friend is focusing on what you can do to make it better and also as well i'm guessing it's because she knows her friend very very well she understood that hey my friend needs to fix up on certain area and this could potentially help the marriage along because what she heard previously before that was like hey you know you're talking about him being the 80s and stuff like that she's like okay so what else Okay, so what, what's really eating you up? What's really the issue here? Because you're not giving me anything of any substance that shows me there's a madness going on, right? So she, as she continues, let's, let's look a bit more. Communicate and, and try to get to know each other. I think your biggest regret in all of this would be to look back and say, I didn't give it my all and I didn't. Let me just pause there. What I love about this is that she said, listen, one of your biggest regrets on this particular thing will be the fact that you didn't put all on the line. Now, for her to make that deduction, um, first of all, speaks quite clearly and quite candidly about her particular viewpoint towards not only Kaylee, but to also the sanctity of marriage. You want to be able to put as much effort in because you just don't know. Um, you know, it, you know, it, sometimes it takes a little spark or a little, a little movement, a little something from your side that makes this relationship work. And so for 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 Haley to hear those words that should encourage her to want to do something now Haley makes a good point where she says you know I want to be able to communicate more etc etc the truth of the matter she's just not attracted and the only way this is going to work is if she surrenders her need for attraction 
to focus on the inequalities of Jacob. But those inequalities too can be a little bit frustrating because he is socially awkward. And I totally understand Haley's point of view in that respect. And I wish he actually just said that, listen, he's a bit socially awkward and I'm struggling with this. Right. And I think we can all we can all rock with that and be honest about it and say, hey, do you know what? Maybe this is, you know, what I mean, like I, I wouldn't want to see marriages break down. But I this because it's a TV show. I totally understand if someone said to me he's socially awkward and I'm, I'm it's it's hard pressed to put me in a situation where someone's socially awkward. Instead, the focus is that he's 80s focused. He's this, that just say he's socially awkward and you're struggling with it. Right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's I, I love that piece of information that her friend put there about, you know, um, you know, you don't want to regret anything because you want to make sure you put all on the line. Right. You regret when you feel like you didn't put all of it on the line. Pull from places I didn't know existed to muster up the strength to do this, you know. And I love this point as well. Pull from places that you, you didn't know, uh, you know, existed. And what she's really speaking about here is something that's experiential, not necessarily something that is um, you can teach somebody. Right. Sorry about that. This, this is something that you, 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 you can't teach someone this. Sorry, but there's a bit of lights in my face here. I apologize. I want to get a bit closer. You can't teach somebody this. <laughs> you can't teach somebody this right because at the end of the day this is something that you learn through experiences and what a friend is actually you know advising here is that look you need to tap into something a little bit deeper at the moment from what i've seen from you it's a lot of surface stuff you're annoyed by this you're annoyed by this you're annoyed by this but you need to pull from somewhere deeper because this marriage is going to pull a lot out of you you, you, you don't you you can't stay on the surface you have to make, you have to almost want it to make it happen. And at the moment, we haven't seen that from Haley. She wants what she wants, and she's actually closed Jacob out. And not only has she closed Jacob out, she's done it in such a way where it's like drawing him in and then pulling him out. And I think that's really a painful thing to see, especially from my point of view, because, you know, it's... It, it's painful because obviously once you have sex with somebody, you initiate a contract with that person. What I mean by that, you stated to that person that you want to know them explicitly in a certain type of way. And it's the deepest type of knowing sexually to do that to somebody, right? We, we, we downplay sex a lot of times because it's about the pleasure aspect. But actually, you're, you're actually saying to the person, I want to know you. The Bible says that when people entered into people, they knew them. Let me get stay hydrated. Let me stay hydrated. The Bible says when we enter somebody, we knew them, okay? It's one of the different types of intimacies that we see on the actual show in life. Sorry, I should say. Right. But let's play a little bit more and get a bit of a deep understanding. Mm -hmm. This is not just a round of dating. This isn't just to kind of feel things out and see how it is. And that's what, again, I love about this. I know you probably think to yourself, let the play, let the clip play, let the clip play. I want you to understand we need to break this down and understand what's going on here. So the friend said quite clearly, look, this is not a round of dating, sis. Just in case you're thinking you can quit and hit. Uh, no quit and hit this way you can hit and quit you can't you can't do that you have to stick it through because you've decided to do an everlasting commitment you made vows to death do us part do you understand so when you made those vows you took it seriously that we are coming together and we're going to end this no and it's and it's one of the things that is on my mind of a, as a part who i want as a partner i don't want somebody who's going to quit can I be honest with you? I don't want a partner who considers quitting a marriage as an option because I am dedicated and I am committed to you, committed to the vows, committed to God, but I'm also committed to improving. So I'm open to hearing your suggestions and how to be better. I'm open to your suggestions of um, how to do better. I'm open to your suggestions of let's do more. And so for me, there's no option of an outback door if I get married. Just sh just going to say it straight. I'm sorry. I know some people might see it differently. I do not have that. I'm never going to abuse you. I'm never going to treat you wrong. Um, for me, there's no outage of that. Now, unless obviously, yes, there's, I, I, can, I can make con concessions, abuse, cheating, consistently cheating as well. Um, you know, and them kind of things there. I, I, I agree. Let's let's take those out the window. But just being unhappy, we better find a way, sis. We better find a way, love, to make this work. And this is what I believe Haley's friend is really addressing here. This is not a round of dating where you can quit. There is no back door. You've entered into a, a commitment that is lifelong. And let's let's, let's look at what, let, let's, let's listen to more what she says. Marriage is a lot more than that. Yeah. I can tell with Haley, she is 100% in this. 
No, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't believe that. But, <laughs> um, um, but you know, I, I love the fact that Lady Haley was taking it in. From what I saw her body language, she was taking information in, um, and I, I'm hoping that's gonna bring an improvement um, as well to her relationship with Jacob. Um, and as a friend said, you know, marriage is more than that. And I think when you have a friend who's able to see that marriage is just more than just a paper, it's more than, you know, the, a round of dating, that marriage is not a means to an end, that marriage actually is about the commitment you guys make. And even when you're not happy, it seems like you're going to have to do your duty and your task. And that's what something that our generation needs to learn. Let's, let's, let's continue more what she says. I feel like she's trying really, really hard and she's putting herself out there. You know, I think for her, this is huge. I think it's just going to take time. They just have to put the past in the past and start. F now, what I don't like is not the friend is is what Haley did, because she's told a story about him, Jacob, and told it incorrectly. She told it as if she went on a girl's night. Some people joined and, da, 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 and that's what sis. that is not the story. You know, the real story of how, what happened, why Jacob flipped out the way he did. Now, am I agreeing that him calling you saying to you, that obviously that you have a boyfriend somewhere is correct? No. And we called that out and said, that's wrong. OK, that's accusatory behavior because of his insecurities of what's happened to him. But the, the mere fact is you're not telling the truth. And I don't like this. When I start seeing someone who who starts lying from this early on, it's an indication that you've got a real big problem when it comes to accountability. You've got a real big problem when it comes to telling the truth. You've got a real big problem when it comes to being honest and open in your communication. And people who lie can do whatever they want to do. Sorry, people who lie can do whatever they want to do in order to get their way. Now, that's something I don't like. That manipulation tactic of, oh, I haven't eaten in the last two days, for me, is very dangerous waters. So the mere fact that you're not telling your friends the absolute truth too also speaks volumes about your character, Haley. I don't like it. And it's a very dangerous precedence to start. To start. OK, the mere fact you got you, you've pretty much gaslighted Jacob into apologizing over and over and over again in this relationship as if he was the only one that did something wrong. Again, I don't like that. And I think there's something I'm learning as well as a male, like, you know, you sometimes have to be decisive, but you also have to as well have a measure of yourself and be confident in yourself. Like I've been in a situation where Jacob's in and so I kind of understand where he's coming from, but you're almost kind of overshooting yourself by trying to apologize profusely to get the person to bend. Don't do it. It always ends in death. Um, so when you know that you're right, yes, you have to sacrifice points at time where you say, OK, look, do you know what? For the concession of the relationship, I'm going to surrender okay where you don't surrender is when someone's lying when someone's clearly lying you don't surrender and here's why because you're giving up ground on falsities you, when you when you when you give up ground on someone lying and manipulating you you give up ground to falsities and you allow for more manipulation and more devilish tactics to enter into the fray am i calling Haley an evil person no but what i'm saying is her behavior is evilish okay yes so let's continue listening fresh maybe he showed some not so pretty colors up front that you didn't necessarily like but there's two hearts on the line here and Ooh. you know this what a point sis can we get an oscar for this lady come on listen my sister said listen look consider the fact there are two hearts on the line here don't just think about yourself don't be so selfish Think about the fact there's two hearts on the line. And I'm not, I'm not just saying this for Haley. Anybody watching this, it's so important to listen to this because, you know, when you get into a relationship or a marriage, so I should even say, you may be thinking it's about me and my feelings, but actually it's about the fact that both of you can join your heart. There is no two hearts. There's actually one. Because the Bible says two shall become one. There's one. Although you're individual persons and you're whole, yes, but you've become one. And so you, almost, you have to think of it like that in a sense of, hey, look. You know, we, it's not just my heart on the line. It's also theirs. And I've got to make sure that I'm doing the right things in order to move forward. And I think what is the thing, the big thing here is that I think because of Haley's past behaviors, I think the friends can really get a grasp on her. And we saw that because the, the dinner party when Caroline was like, yo, you know, Haley is not good at regulating her emotion kind of thing. She's not very emotional, et cetera, et cetera. And so I think the friends have a good measure of what she's like. And I think that's why when she's telling her stories, they are still rooting for her. Maybe if Haley was an exceptional member, um, meaning that she was, you know, she um, had a, I don't want to say a good heart, but like was pure hearted, kind, da -da -da, over those kind of things where you never really saw some negative aspects or traits from her, right? Then maybe when she told her story, they would have been like, oh my God, like you're in a situation, da-da-da. 
but the mere fact I think they kind of know her, they can kind of give her a better a better advice in terms of her going. But I want to I love that point about there's two hearts online. Understand that two shall become one. It's no longer just about me; it's about us. And when we understand that, we look at things considerably different. This isn't just about your life anymore. You signed up for this, and it's his life too. Yeah. And I know your immediate reaction to something is to run and to shut down. So here you go. That's why I said about the fact that a friend knows Haley just as well. Because she makes a point that, hey, look, I know you. I know you're about to run. And it's, it's interesting because she's the one, the friend that was trying to, that was moving mad uh, in the, in the, when Haley was telling them they were going to get married. But she's the one that's kept it so true and real. And I love that because she's the only one that's probably got the kahunas and the ability and the vocabulary to, to really express to Haley that, hey, look, fix up get it right get it tight fix up darling don't don't move mad okay um and so I, I love that point as well it's very important to see that um and to understand that as well from um, that perspective so um let, let's let's watch again a, a little bit longer on as well but i think you should keep pushing through and <laughs> wait did you not see that like, the way that um hayley swallowed <laughs> my girl was hurt by that she she was hurt by that let's be honest she was hurt by that she she the friend was being very honest and very earnest <laughs> give it the chance it deserves i mean we both like sub and just before she says her final piece as well um i love i love the fact that obviously Haley is going to go and say obviously you know that she is you know not just thinking about herself but she's loving she's trying to communicate and do better but i love the fact that friend has been earnest an earnest friend the bible says you know um better is an open rebuke than secret love because what happens is when you don't rebuke that person or you don't tell that person at least um there's some there's a better way you leave that person open to ruin um and so it's very important to be able um to distinguish those kind of things as well but I, I, i'll leave it on this note where Haley speaks and then we can end it last night that we, we wanted this to work and that we're you know willing to try mm -hmm. And, and, you know, she, so she said she's open and she's willing to try. I don't know. Sometimes I hear her words and I don't know if her actions are actually matching. But we did get to see her later on where she does offer him a beer and they begin talking. I'm not going to lie to you. It was awkward. Um, he, he didn't really ask a good question. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. She asked him, like, where were you at 28? And then, then obviously, like, he didn't really ask. Uh, he didn't really ask a question back the way she she needed to be able to expand herself so i think there are lessons to learn and i think there's some greater aspects to explore with jacob and Haley. um i i just always think to myself if you don't want it just be respectful in the way you don't want it don't pretend because it just hurts people's feelings you know so yeah guys make sure you like subscribe click on that bell button for notification of the what up lols we appreciate you guys stay locked and stay loaded stay hydrated <laughs>